I uh, would you settle down? I bought a mon. Well, I've had this monopod for a while, and I've I've legs on it, and I just thought I would use it as this, and it's perfect. It's a bit higher than me, but I don't like that. But it looks down on me, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I have a confession to make. Well, two confessions. Firstly, I'm really enjoying vlogging again. I have to say, I really am. Um. The second confession is, I've been listening to Christmas movie music and I'm watching Christmas movies. <sighs> um, my wife has been on at me for 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 weeks now to watch Christmas movies, and they're not the classics. She does. She hates the classics. She said, my wife's one of those people, who watches a movie once and then she'll forget. She won't watch it again. And then halfway through, I've seen this before, and then she'll finish it, and then that'll be it. She'll never watch it again. As for the classics, now, I've said this before in vlogs, that Laura and her mum love the, those crappy TV movies that boy meets girl, uh, they fall in love, and then one of them ends up being married or divorced, or, or an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend comes in and swoops them away for a wee while. And then the next thing, they're back together for Christmas, and it's so romantic. She loves those kind of crap movies. Whereas I love a movie with Santa in it, or a Christmas movie with Santa in it, or um, Deck the Halls, you know, all that sort of stuff, or Elf, or, 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 or things like what well, Those kind of Christmas classics, you know. It's a Wonderful Life classic. I'll watch that on Christmas Eve. I love that movie. Um, So we've been watching those crappy movies at the minute. We did watch a movie last night. Uh, I have never seen it before. It's got a sequel called Meet the Santas. It's single and looking for Mrs. Claus or something like that. Steve Gutenberg's in it from the Police Academy. It was quite a good one. Um, he's gonna be he's he's gonna be the next Santa Claus, and he needs a and needs a Mrs. Claus. So he has until Christmas Eve to find a wife. And there's a whole who hag. She doesn't believe in. The girl that he falls in love with doesn't believe, whereas um, this guy from the North Pole has a list of pre-approved women, but he doesn't want them. He wants this girl, this woman, and she's got a young son, blah, blah, blah. And we've been watching, We recently we discovered that you can actually um, see the um, Christmas commercials early on YouTube. So we've been watching all the, all the big UK ones, like John Lewis, and it's the big one. And then M and S food and all those ones and Asda and Tesco and all these big commercials that are their their advertisements that are coming out at Christmas. But the one I really love from my childhood is this is the um the, the Coca Cola, you know the Coca Cola trucks. I love that. Holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. It just gets me into the groove, and they. They stopped playing it a few years ago here in the UK. They stopped it. They in twenty twenty it was everyone can be Santa Claus. No, holidays are coming. Holiday and they always um. It's always a Sunday evening, around seven p.m. that that ad, ad commercial goes out. The last few years it's been something. Coca Cola have come up with this crappy, crap. Okay, they may be good enough, but the holidays are coming. That gets me. That and that gets a lot of um adults my age into the mood. You know, I think that advertisement came out in the early nineties or the late eighties, and it's just that's what Christmas. Uh, that's the epitome of the start of Christmas for me. And I mean, I think I'm slowly, slowly, slowly getting into the Christmas mood. Not fully yet. Um, my radio show on the 2nd of November, I was teasing Mariah Carey. Every few lengths, I would play a wee bit of Mariah. And I'm like, no, 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 wait. No, she's being defrosted, but she's not ready to come out yet. Uh, come two weeks' time, my radio show will be full of Christmas music and stuff. So, yeah. That's that I'm looking forward to that. I I for me it's the build up to Christmas I like. I like the whole 
and his shops and stores are sort of start stocking Christmas stuff from from September onwards and start uh, you know doing the good big push. But you have I I feel I have to wait till after Halloween's over to officially start getting into the process and get into the lead up to Christmas now. Me personally, lead up lead up to Christmas is probably the last week of November. Uh the Christmas tree we we like to get it up the first weekend of December. Uh, we're waiting until our new our new uh suite of furniture comes. Then that means it'll be so we'll 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 know then where the, the tree goes because this sofa is going and the sofa over there is going. We're gonna have like a corner suite. And I'm getting a chair. I'm getting a chair. Woo! Getting a chair. Can't wait. My own chair. So um, I've never I haven't sat in it yet. That's the scary bit. I haven't sat in it yet. But it's gonna be my chair, and no one's allowed on it. <laughs> TV's gonna be moved back over to the other corner. Um, chances are the tree will either go into that corner, or go down here. We don't know yet. We haven't said it yet. So we'll wait till that happens. And see, um, I've been saying to Laura, I want a new Christmas tree because we've had the same Christmas tree for four years now, and uh, as much as I love lights and stuff and love putting the lights on, it's taking the lights off. And two years ago, I was lazy, and I put the garbage line the garbage bags on the top on the Christmas tree and pushed it up into the attic and closed the door with the lights on. Took all the ornaments off. We've got some beautiful ornaments, especially ornaments from my childhood on it and there's memory ball bubbles on there from people in our life that have passed away. We have um we have bubbles on there that people have gifted us. Beautiful bubbles and you know they are they are kept in a box special box but the lights were kept on it and um i'll tell you what happened two years ago actually this is the truth the reason why i put the garbage liner bag on it and pushed it up in i decorated our tree like i always do every year and laura's mum's friend who's, who's the best soul in the world you know she didn't like how i had my lights so she was in and she was Tied them in round and tied them in, actually tied them on the branches. And I couldn't get them off the branches. She had them tied. I was like, oh dear God. So I couldn't get them off, so I pushed everything up in the attic. Last year brought it down, had to actually cut. I think I told you this in our vlog before. When I bought our Christmas, when I, when our, my mum, my mother-in-law bought us a Christmas tree. When I buy lights, I usually buy a new, a new box of lights every year, just in case, you know. And Laura thinks I'm mad when I buy five, five, ten thousand lights. But it's better to have more than less, you know. I think. So, I buy, if I'm buying a box of lights, I'll buy a second box as a spare. And it's a good job I did, because last year when I cut off all the old, all the old lights, and drapes on the new lights. The actual brand new box, the spare box that was sitting, that was never opened. It had been snipped. And I didn't snip it. You know. So uh, I went out and bought another box and another box. So um, usually. Um, we usually have about three or four boxes every, uh, you know, there's maybe three or four boxes of lights in the attic. So there's a box, there's an extra box up there uh, with, and then there's a box of lights that we used last year. So, yeah. So we're talking about if we get a new tree this year, it'll be a six and a half foot tree. Because I like a tree that's taller than me. And we'll probably have, um, probably get a pre-lit light tree, which I'm, as a child, the child of me, like, oh. I love the lights and I love a color I love the colored lights but as I'm getting older I love the white lights I love the you know the white the white lights and um, 
freaking a pre a pre lit tree to me is sacrilegious, and a fiber optic tree. Well, it's just out. Of, it's it's the devil. It's just the devil to me. So we're, I'm I might be. I might be just might be tempted to buy a pre lit tree. But the one that we had the Christmas tree we have at the moment is one of those. It's got fake snow on it. Every time you bring it out in and out of the attic, you're just covered in this white mess and it goes to my chest. And it's you no, know, it's not good at all. So we have to get a new tree this year and look for if it's pre lit. If it's not, then I'll buy a couple of boxes of lights. But uh, yeah, so imagine talking about Christmas. It's only like the fourth of November or something like that. But uh, yeah, I see the trees. The leaves are falling from the trees at a rapid rate. I suppose there only is twenty more, twenty six more days of fall and or autumn, and then it's into the winter time. I don't mind December because December, although it technical is technically is winter. It's still kind of fall kind of weather, autumn type kind of weather, you know, and Christmas is kind of mild here in the UK. It's never really, it never really snows. Sometimes it snows. We're overdue a big snow. We had a big, we had a big freeze here in 2010 and it was horrible. I remember it was really horrible. I struggled to get to work for three weeks. Uh, the, it was, there was like six, six or eight feet of snow drifts at the sides of the road. And it was like minus 12 or minus 10 at night, minus 14 at night in Celsius. It was very cold. It was very cold. It froze over. Everything froze and it was so cold and it was so icy. And it was, it was, the roads were just totally dangerous. So it's been 14 years since that. And uh, I would say we're, we're long overdue another big freeze like that. And I hope we don't get it, you know. Last Chris, last year, last December, maybe it was January. We had a big, we had a snow in January. We always it kind of snows in in January. I would call January the sort of the middle of the middle of the winter, and it's the middle of the winter here in in Ireland and UK that it really hits bad winter. And it, it just it, it just it, there was no snow here in Ballymoney, but there was snow in cold rain where I work, and I was driving in and it was fine. And I come to a roundabout and my car just sort of went. I do not like driving in frost and snow and ice. I don't mind snow. If it's just snowing, that's fine. But ice and frost, I I had an accident one time in my car where I was I was teaching Sunday school at the time and um I was um we lived We lived with my in-laws at the time and uh, they lived in a really back road, horrible back road. In the winter time it just froze solid. <laughs> it was impassable. And I was driving to the Sunday school in the morning, Sunday morning, to teach. And I uh, don't do that anymore. And I came to, it was, it was going well, it was like, I was going about 10 miles an hour. I wasn't really speeding. I came to the corner of a road and my car went... <sighs> And then I felt it going like that there, back again. And as it hit the grass verge, the whole back end lifted like this. And I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll here. And I closed my eyes, holding onto the wheel. And the next thing, boom. I was in the field, on, but I didn't know it this time. I was on top of the barbed wire fence. Got off, got out of the car. Shook myself, walked around the car. It wasn't a dent, nor scrape, nor score, nor nothing on the car. I thought, thank you, God. Rung my wife. I've been an accident. This road's really slippery. I've slid them in, and I'm in, I'm in a field, I'm in a field. And um, she came down, and I, she said, right, you need to get out of the field. And I couldn't see the gate anywhere. So I just said, well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on top of the barbed wire fence. I'll just drive on. I might get a puncture, but so what? Drive over. And I felt this. I heard this. <laughs> and as I drove out onto the road, I heard the bump. I heard the, the bang. And I uh, thought, what the heck's this? The barbed wire fence had come back up again. But as it did, it had pulled my back bumper off. 
and the bumper was hanging, you know, one side. So Laura got it. I got out of the car and nearly went in my head. Laura came walking over. Um, she had pulled up behind me, and she just lifted the bumper one, <coughs> pushed it on. Farmer's daughter just pushed it on and said, "Off you go." Like, I've just been in an accident, Laura. I've, 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 I was in that field. I should have stayed in the field. I should have stayed in the field. I don't think she believed me that it was in the field, but because the fence came back up again and it just it was there, it was just, it wasn't even, you know. So, um, <laughs> Laura just said, "Dump they are," and I had run. Some of the school people said, "Look, I can't come in. I've just I've slid on the road and I've I'm landed in the field." And they and because I remember t- they were talking about this a while ago, and they were like, "Joe, we thought you were on your roof of the car." I says, "I thought as well. It was on the roof of the car, but you know." But look, my wife was like, you're all right, off you go. <laughs> you know, so I hate driving in the winter roads. I just hate it. Um, and I love it when spring comes. I, I love spring. I'm not so keen on summer. I don't like hot. I don't like heat. And I love this time of year, the the, the, spring, or the, the uh, autumn or the fall. I love this time of year. You know, when even in death, the leaves are dying and they're, they're 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 like a burnt orange type flavor, not flavor, color. You know, and stunningly beautiful. You know. But after the fall and the and the and the and the autumn comes the deadly winter. And it's the winter. It's not good. I like it. And I want them to move Christmas to January. So we could have a white Christmas, you know, but anyway. I've got my Christmas duty. I'm working Christmas Day. You may think, what? I'm only working three and a half hours in the morning from eight to half eleven, which I'm a okay about. I'm happy enough with. I'll get home and I'll not be coming here. We stay with my mother and all that for Christmas. Um, so I'm uh, going to uh, be with my niece on our first Christmas. So yeah, our niece. So yeah. Well, that's it. You, I've given you a couple of con- uh, confessions and I've told you a story. The wee dog at the minute is is looking at me. Uh, as you know, we have a, we, we don't. It's not our dog. It's my mother in law's dog. But my wife and her, my mother in law share this dog. And he's just not himself. See him there. It was her Benny. And Benny is just. We don't know. We we adopted him about five, four or five years ago. He's been in the family since. Doesn't like men. He's come round to me a wee bit, but doesn't like men. Always wants to protect his mother and, and, and his Laura. <laughs> um He's not been sleeping at night. He's been crying and shivering and and, 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 and barking at night just at the, just at the shadows and things. And even if I go to sit beside him, he'll he'll shake and tremble. Now we know a man beat him up, and uh, for his previous owner's son beat him and and broke his paw and all. He's got a broken, uh, I want to say ankle. I was going to say wrist. But an ankle, so his paw kind of, you know. But personally, we don't know what age he is. I haven't said about eight or nine, and he might have dementia. Now that's not been diagnosed by a vet. But personally, with my experience working with with humans with dementia, humans with diagnosis of dementia. I think he uh, might possibly have be in the early stages, if he's if he's uh, not sleeping at night and he's he's shaking and, and growling and if things not there. I do think uh, my own professional uh, beliefs would be he's got dementia at early stages. And canine dementia is a thing, you know. But anyway, 
Well, that's it, folks. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. All the best.